In this video, I'm going to talk about an error that happens sometimes with customers, and that is this one here. You run the program, and you keep getting this two feed parameters expected one error, and um, it can happen multiple times or a couple times. Um, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Basically, this error means that the version of Asset Manager you're running is is using is expecting a different database schema than what is currently present in your Asset Manager database on SQL Server. And so what you need to do is this. Um, first of all, we have a new uh, database schema page here. I can put the link uh, in the comments section below this video. Uh, you can also access it under the help menu. There should be a, a menu item called database schema if you can get into the program. Um, and you're going to bring this up. And next to it, you should have up your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And so what you're going to do is m make sure that the asset managed database corresponds with what is in the database schema so to do that you expand this click on tables and we're going to start with assets so in, in virtually every case the what's what happens is we've added a, a new field necessary to provide a new feature and uh, your database may not have that field added already so you just go to the end here. The last one is asking asking price. You're going to ignore these time stamps um, fields. Uh, just so you look at asking price. Go here. Expand the asset manage 2010 table. Expand the columns for assets, and you can see here. This also is asking price's last field, so that's good to go. You're going to do the same for attachments categories company info all the way down here now in this particular instance the problem was in notebook items so I'll just skip to that and so we'll open notebook items and we'll open it up here and you see here the last field is called parent item type which is a Long, long integer and here we don't have it the last field is changed by user so what we just need to do is add a new column and we're going to call it parent item type integer Okay, so we'd go ahead and save that. I'm gonna exit the management studio. And now we're just gonna run the debug, debug version of asset manage I have here. It's not a fix the error, I'm gonna run the program again. And this time you can see the program comes up perfectly fine without any errors whatsoever. So um, hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.